They actually participated in the Olympics. We had a great — we had a great relationship, and it would have been great, and we would have had a deal done long ago if the election weren't rigged. And uh, that's the way it is. I mean, it's a shame. Think of what's happened to our country in just three years. Think of what's happened to our country. You look at the borders, and you look at — we're not respected. We're left at all over the world. We're losing all of these countries. Saudi Arabia now is aligned with China. We don't want them aligned with China. They're very good. They have tremendous oil reserves, but we really don't need their oil reserves. You know, we have more oil under our feet — I called it — liquid gold — than Saudi Arabia or than Russia. We take their tar. You know, they don't have good oil. And you know where we process it? So all that stuff, if you're a believer in that — and I believe it to a certain extent — not like the maniacs that want to destroy our country, but it all goes up into the atmosphere. And uh, when China is very dirty, it all blows over here, just like you ever see in the Pacific Ocean. We're taking tons and tons and tons of garbage because China dumps their garbage in the Pacific, and the tide flows it in toward Los Angeles. We're, we're picking up their garbage. And then, the, then they say, we have to keep our claim. No, they have to participate because it blows over in three to four days. So what good does it do for us to destroy our businesses by putting controls all over the place? By having — we had a trucker. I saw him over here someplace, a father and a son. I said, I read last night where they want to make all of these big trucks that travel all over the country. They want to make them all electric. It doesn't seem to make sense to me. He said, it will destroy the industry because they go for two hours and then you have to charge them for four hours, right? He was saying it doesn't work, and they put it on. They don't even talk. You got to talk to the people. You got to talk to the people in the trucking industry not to some person that wants to destroy our country. I actually believe that's what they want to do. But unlike the establishment globalists in this race — and they are globalists — I've also been an unwavering defender of ethanol, which you like right here, on behalf of the